So here we are. We are in Bankerai. I'm going to show you what to do once you become a werewolf. By the way, welcome to my channel, uh, to my channel, uh, at Primus X Defried here on Twitch and um, Defried Prime on YouTube. Oh yeah. All right. Now out here in Bankerai, this is for Daggerfall Covenant. When it's nighttime, the werewolves will spawn. Our werewolves and vampires will spawn right here in this area uh, in front of me, and then they'll spawn back. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you on the map, and then I'll go to them. And they'll spawn right. Ah, damn it! Hold on. I'll spawn right there. Uh, there was one werewolf by itself right here, and then they're supposed to spawn here as well. I'll show you right now. Um, when I came out at nighttime, I was watching a YouTube video. I was probably gonna go to sleep, what have you. And they spawned. Let me zoom out a little bit. They spawned right here. You had to get scratched like three or four times. And of course, there's this douchebag that's charging 30, 40, 50k. He was in this area charging people 30, 40, 50k for a bite to become a werewolf. And it was just a BS. Um, I'm gonna show you the other spawn location. I've seen one, just one by himself that spawned back here later after we had killed uh, those two werewolves over there. Um, and the dude, he, he, he hurried up and tried to kill them off so he could scam other players for bites. Um, I wish I'd got his name. I'll let you guys know in the description or right here in the video, but I should have took a picture. I was kind of moving really fast. Um, they've been reported. Uh, spawning uh, here in this location I haven't seen them yet but after the fight down there when I came up here they spawned over here and to get scratched I had to use a taunt uh, sword and shield has a taunt so I used that luckily the the first fight I didn't realize I should have used it but I did this time here so once you get bit I'm gonna show you what to do Actually, I'll just do it here. I got plenty of gold. Um, once you get bit, you look at your character screen. I'll show you that in a second. Yeah, it'll be level 10. You know, so you're trying to get infected. So you'll probably have to wait all night just to get infected. It's all good. This character, I wanted to be a vampire, though. But I kind of had no choice with the dude scamming people out of money. So I was like... I'm just going to have to make the adjustment and make this guy a uh, werewolf and make my tank a vampire, which I really didn't want. I wanted this guy here to be a vampire. So anyway, this is Evermore. This is um, once you get infected. This is where you'll, you know, you want to go to the Shire, and there'll be a name, a lady named Thorica right here at the waterfall. Hold on. Yeah, it's a little late, so I don't want to be too loud. Sorry. Anyway, it should be right here. My name is Thorica. T H O R E K I. E K I. Thoriki. So it should be right here. You're going to talk to her. The reason I can't see her now is because I'm not infected with uh, Sanus Lupinus, which I'll show you in a second on my tank. I actually ended up paying 5K. Somebody offered 5K, so I took it. Um, so. Anyway, it'll be here. It'll be like right now, it will be a third skill, basically. Uh, for it. So when you see it, or when you have Sanus Lupinus in your character screen, you're going to see this lady, Thoriki, over here, and she'll talk about what you guys have in common, and it's her, uh, Hersene's Gift, it's the name of the mission. So she'll introduce you to Hersene's Gift, and then what you're going to do once you get that is that mission. You're going to, you're going to, let's see, let's see, come here. There's a shrine right here. You're gonna interact with the scroll and then you're gonna jump through a portal. I'm gonna show you in a second on my tank uh, What that shrine looks like and so you're not confused Anyway, yeah, I marked it there. This is banker eye So it doesn't get confused and you can familiarize yourself and then kind of figure out how to get there um, It's where we are evermore. So remember we talked to this lady at the waterfall. Her name is Thoriki. Thoriki She's pretty hot noticeable Easy on the eyes. <laughs> don't try to get her number. She might bite you. I don't know. Um, anyway, werewolves and vampires spawn here. And I'm guessing they spawn here, here, too. And then, of course, here, where I got infected, thankfully. Even though the douchebag charging 30, 40, and 50k for bites was trying to kill them off. It was actually pretty entertaining. 
And oh, oh, by the way, once you get infected, leave them so other players can get infected because it's only fair. You know, it's it's hard enough just waiting around, but you got these little scammers trying to take your money. Oh, come on, man, stop it. Um, anyway, this is a shrine. Um, that's where you go once you get the mission. Interact with the scroll, go through the portal, simple as that. Now, if you want to get rid of it, if you wanted to be a vampire, you were like, no, I don't want to be a werewolf like me. <laughs> After I paid 5k on my tank to get him changed, thank goodness. I didn't want to ruin what I wanted for this tune here, which was vampire. You come and talk to him. Very late, Sabina. The option isn't here, just says goodbye, but when you have it, uh, I'm guessing the vampire either. And then, of course, the werewolf, uh, it'll it'll be there. It costs, I think, 62 gold to get rid of it. That's all it was for me. This is USPS. The date is July 21st, 2015. So, and just to, you know, let you know. Oh, no, you made this video a couple of days ago. Yeah, man, it's, it's pretty recent. Um, so once you get in, oh, I'll show you all my tank. It should be here, but I'm going to show you all my tank right now because he has it. Oh, also, they've been reported uh, being spawning in this area, too. I haven't seen them, but they've been here. So, I'm going to log out and go over there. <coughs> I mean, not over there, but to the shrine to show you guys what to do. So, you know, to watch the whole process. And I'm trying to pause it on my character screen. What's wrong with you guys? Come on, man. It's not nice. <laughs> and you're like, well, why, why don't you just switch? And, and instead of having your healer be a, like you wanted to be a vampire, why'd you make him a werewolf? Well, I, I ended up not making him a werewolf, luckily, but the reason was because of the dude, the the overpowered, charging 30, 40, and 50k, trying to ruin it for everybody. I had no choice. I was like, I would just switch it because I never I became a werewolf or a vampire before on this game, so I didn't know. But uh, anyway, he's a werewolf. Um, the transform, it'll be, uh, I put it on my other skill. You got to put it on, on one of your ultimates. So I put it on my secondary loadout. Uh, there it is right there, where we're transformation. I'll show you the skill line right now, real quick. I don't want to ruin it, so. There's one. And there you are, pounds. I haven't, I haven't used these, obviously. I think on a mission, you get this one, and you get this one here, so. It's pretty fun. They actually work pretty well with one another. But, uh, there go your skills. I'm not gonna, you know, you can pause it and look at the description all that if you want to. It's all good. Anyway, on the character screen, like I said, when you get infected, he just says six days. Um, you get to infect the player every seven days. Uh, if you want to, you can charge them money if you want to. It's kind of, I don't know, I, I either charge a low price of below 10000 or maybe free. So... Anyway, this is when you're infected. When you see this on the screen, it, it won't look exactly like this. It'll just, it'll have this picture here of the werewolf, and it'll say Sanius Lupinus. And that's when you go to the waterfall and talk to Doriki to get this mission. And so you can see here I'm infected. With this, so I gotta wait about six days to infect another player if I want to. What the hell is he doing? Anyway, I'm going to first person, um, and the scroll is going to be right here. Um, interact with it whatever after you're finished it'll be a portal right here you walk through it and you get your mission basically you gotta collect a trophy you gotta kill a bunch of beasts or animals and then you figure out which one it, for me it was a big giant snake so once you do that then your mission is complete you're good you're done uh, you're a werewolf so um that's how it works it's as simple as that the shrine like i said is right here and uh, vampires and werewolves I spawn here, here, and here. So there you have it. And you want to go back uh, for a vampire? I don't know if you go back here and do the same thing. Talk to the lady about a waterfall. I don't know. 
Uh, I've never been in a vampire before, so I don't know how that works, but yeah, she's gonna be right here for a werewolf. Talk to her, then you, you know, come back over here to the shrine to get the mission. If you want to get rid of it, you go into this major guild here in Evermore. So, there you have it USPS4, uh, Primus X Defright, uh, Defright Prime on um, YouTube. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy. Uh, subscribe or not, I don't care. I just want you to have the video so you can all be informed. Thank you, and uh, have a good night. And I'm gonna splash these guys for being loud. Splash everybody. <laughs> and no, I can't. I can't transform because you actually need the. Um, you need to have ultimate. Like you need to uh, kill first to be able to transform. So I cannot do it right now. Apologies. But uh, thank you for watching and have a good night.